Hi, welcome to TechCrunch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Java coding exercise, group chat. Today we are going to present you a live demonstration and implementation of sending and receiving messages from users implemented using socket programming in Java. Before we get into the demonstration, let's first see what are the requirements. So group chat application requirements is basically very simple chat application implemented using socket. User can enter name and join the conversation. It's just a simple Java console based application. So we don't need, we are not going to implement any graphical user interface in this session. No server deployment needed and it, multiple users can join the conversation. So that makes the group chat application. Now, as per the requirement of this application, let's uh, we need to understand what is actually socket. Socket provides a communication mechanism between two computers using transport control protocol that's called TCP. A client programs creates a socket on its end end of the communication and attempts to connect that socket to a server. Now, as you can see, the blue color is for server and the green color is for client. So when the connection is made, the server creates a socket object on its end of the communication. And the client and server can now communicate by writing to and reading from the socket. There is an API, a socket API mentioned in java.net socket that class represent a socket and the java.net server socket class provides a mechanism for the server program to listen for clients and establish connections with them. Now, as per this uh, picture, you can see the socket creation and implementation is mentioned in few steps. Now, step one is server instantiates a server socket object denoting which port number communication is to occur on. The next step, we are going to bind the IP address and the port number using the bind method. The server invoke the accept method of the server socket class. This method waits until the client connects to the server on the given port. After the server is waiting, the client instantiates a socket object, specify the server name and the port number to the connect to. Constructor of the socket class attempts to connect the client to the specified server and the port number. If communication is established, the client now has a socket object capable of communicating with the server. On the server side, we have the accept method that will return a reference to a new socket on the server that is connected to the client socket. Now, after the connections are established, communication can occur using IO streams. So there we can use read or write and each socket has both output stream and an input stream. So in this way, both can share their data and information and the messages to each. So as per the design, as per the group chat application, the design goes like this. There will be five Java classes which will help you to complete the requirements cover the requirements chat server class will maintain the server part chat client will maintain the client part we have write thread and read thread and the user thread now as for the development is uh, the development goes like a create a chat server for java class create the chat client java class with the port and the ip address that will bind it and create user thread that will create a thread so we have to maintain the multi-threading too create write thread, create read thread. So here we are going to maintain the multi-thread with I input and output stream handling. So you will learn socket API and we are going to implement the IO. In, uh, we are going to implement the input output stream and multi-threading and the socket. So all three of them are going to combine in this uh, application and come up with a real-time practice project for you group chat application. Now let's take a look at the demonstration. So as per the picture, you can see we are, how we are going to work on. This is a complete, very basic application. So we are going to use the notepad here instead of editor. So let's take a look at the demonstration.
description of chat server giving the root number and here connected to the chat server suppose uh, my first client is the branch now i am going to open another uh, window for another client Remember to share the same port number. Okay. So as you can see here, chat server is broadcasting all the information of all the students, all the user connected to this room. See? New user connected, new user connected. So the branch is connected now. The new user connected, student A. So it's accumulating all the users, in the server and the client. The message it will display here. No details. So if in case. Uh, he, this person can respond to the another student A here. Now, just in case, you can use as many as users in this group chat application. So this is how you can have the group chat. You can use as many as users in this room. This is the place where the tech branch is taking care and making a room for all the students and they're sharing their messages and it's responding to each and every one individually and broadcasting all the messages here. So you can say like, uh, So this is how we can have any kind of messenger or online or any kind of help test services, medical services without graphical user interface. You can add graphical user interface using AWT Swing API and implement this. So here we have implemented multi-threading, socket and input output. Very basic group chat with which include all the features like displaying the usernames implemented in a collection framework hash set.
type of collection framework. So this was the live implementation and demonstration of group chat using socket programming in Java. Now practice project for homework. Get a hands-on experience how it works. So here today uh, here for socket implementation we have seen the group messenger where a number of users can interact with each other using a socket. Now, similarly, instead of texting the message, what if in case if we need to share the images, text files, source code, or any document to each other and can, can be used in many places like sending an email or while messenger, you can share the images or some emoticons or some in some GIF animated videos and all. So all these things can be done with the help of Socket API implemented in Java. So let's take a look at this small demonstration for file transfer implementation. So this is my Eclipse ID and for file transfer demonstration, I want to show you my code. This is my application and here is the client code where we are going to create the socket and have a source code and a source file name in. and this is my server and here we are going to handle the file output stream and this is the file event which has the, all the parameters which we need to uh, share the files from one source to another now what I'm going to do here we have the, another package or another folder basically where we are having the source folder and the destination folder so that particular folder path we have defined here in the client as you can see here so suppose this is my source and i want it to transfer to the destination so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a, a file any file i'm going to create some text file testing text and I'm going to print some message here. Value. This is what the my text file looks like now this is in the source folder now I wanted to put it in a destination folder so what I'm going to do is you can see output file is successfully saved in the destination folder if you refresh this your testing text file is automatically here in the destination folder so this is what the file transfer implementation in messenger using socket programming thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming interesting informative sessions in case of any kind of questions concerns source code needed please feel free to contact techranch2019 at gmail.com thank you so much for all your support and let's make coding fun thank you